this is a review on Iron Man, the epic collection called The Golden Avenger by Stan Lee and Don Heck. This is the volume. There are a couple of epic collections of Iron Man, but this is the first one, his first appearance and everything. Tales of Suspense, 39 to 72. $34.99 cover price, but you could probably find it cheaper online. It's the first volume of his adventures. A lot of issues in this. You know, Marvel Masterworks has the same material, and so does the Iron Man Omnibus. But that one's expensive, and the Masterworks really doesn't give you a lot of issues. But this epic line is really good in the number of books that they're making in recent years. The first Iron Man issue, the gray armor, and uh, the second issue is where he got the, the gold armor, just a color change. Uh, Don Heck is the primary artist in this series, even though there are other artists like Jack Kirby in it. This was those original Iron Man issues, the original run. Get the Pepper Potts here later on. The Avengers really do not focus on any of the other Avengers, even though Captain America appears for like one issue. It's just really Iron Man and those early days. And check this out. This is the first appearance of the classic red and gold armor. And then with variations, this would be the standard. Iron Man armor for many decades, the red and gold, the streamlined version. The reproduction is good. It uses a, a sort of uh, slick paper, good uh, color restoration, good production quality overall. And the epic line, definitely, this is good material. I don't want to spoil it. You get the first Mandarin here. Unicorn, first Iron Man villains. Quite a few of them were kind of corny, not too uh, lasting. Hawkeye, first appearance, as well as the Black Widow. Both of them were villains originally, and then later on became heroes. So yeah, Hawkeye fought Iron Man. It has the cover reproduction. You see, originally the book was divided, Iron Man and Captain America, totally separate stories. This is the Iron Man tales. Captain America has his own book, just the Captain America stuff. And so overall, if you like Iron Man or you want to know his early adventures, I definitely would recommend this book. It's about $35 cover price. And it's went up. Some of the epics now are like $39.99. But you could find this online in the cheaper range. I would say about $30 or so or cheaper if you could find it. I definitely would recommend it. It's a good volume. And just high quality production. And the more of these, some extras. The more of these volumes Marvel makes, I think it's just... A good investment for entertainment and for reading. So that's my review. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.